see dead people. Hey, monster on the beat, ho, Debo, any rap nigga, he a free throw, man down, call the amber lambs, tell him free bro, nail a nigga to the cross, he walk around. Hello like guys, people. welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. Please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the sub subscribe right now. First of all, let's just say, man, let me say this Kendrick Lamar song, bro, not like us, is a bop. Not only is he a bob, uh, the, 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 you know, if you listen to the lyrics, bro, and this guy literally just bought it Drake. I don't know, man. Drake can never recall from this. I'm not a fan of Drake either way. Anyway, so the guy, nah, nah, one kind of, nah, one kind of weirdo, man. Yeah, the guy, they, they do thing. I don't like him. Is it somebody that's trying to be something is not, that wish to be something is not, or happy being what you know it's like somebody that's a chameleon it's a chameleon my opinion and i like the fact that Kerry Lamar like i like buried in my life now let's get straight to boxing because this is boxing channel so we have to get through the boxing but i have to say that because that song right there guy that song that song has been has been basically stuck on my head for like since it got released i've been playing that song back to back, back to back man crazy like an addiction now. Now, um, is Excellency Turkey a chick? Ooh. As declared that Canelo Alvarez versus Terence Crawford is being potentially hired for December or January. It says, I quote, I'm working to deliver Canelo, but it would be a big fight for Crawford. I would discuss the names with him. One thing I, I can re literally confirm right here is that his SLC Turkey Alashik loves boxing. Loves boxing. Like he's an he's an he's an hardcore boxing fan. And the fact that he has this this vision and he, I, think, I can tell he loves Terence Crawford. He loves Canelo. He loves every fighter that put their life on the line. You know. It is good for the sport. Very good for the sport. You know, he also said, listen, boxing is broken. Definitely boxing is broken. But they are not, they are not going to like break everything down or, 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 or tear everything down and then rebuild it again. They said they're going to improve it. It needs improvement. All promoters, all managers needs to work together to get the the best fight a uh, fight made. I know that the David Benavides um you know fans would be very disappointed because they won Benavides against Canelo. I think that fight is an is a big fight. Benavides Canelo is a big fight. It's a big Mexican uh, Mexican fight. I don't think it's a word is a is a is a glue like. I don't think Benavides and Canelo, I don't think he has the global attraction yet. I don't think he has that. Come, look at Crawford. He's a smaller guy, basically. And going against Canelo, now like we know now Canelo is at a 160, 168. Yeah. Yeah, 168. And Crawford is about to move up to 154 to fight Madrimov. Who is a champion and was was as was a, was a champion, and also you know the current um the the best in that way, in that way division, in 154. So, um, Crawford has a lot of potential. Crawford is a is a is a is a is, a, is a basically he's not retired yet, but he's like a legend. He's a legend in the making. Got this guy's name will be written in gold once he retires win lose or draw if, of course he's undefeated now but if he loses it's just he'll be his name will be written in gold because this guy um i think inactivity played a huge part in his career he's been very inactive boxing politics almost got him out of the game i think at one time he was really frustrated and you can easily tell that Sometimes, you know, 
boxing makes you want to just you know get a little bit aggressive and just go crazy because people there are a lot of saboteurs bro they would try to ruin your career even before you got the a response fight bro it was very difficult pbc didn't they didn't even want to make that fight happen Errol Spence had to had to force himself basically force the force forces uh, his promoters and stuff like that to get it done so boxing a lot chicks uh vision is for boxing is extremely um uh it's extremely like extremely admirable i have to say you know ever since he came into into boxing yeah he's been invested in boxing has been very like active with it so yeah he's saying he said to um to ESPN boxing is broken but i don't think we need to get everything back together we need to improve it with something else we have a strategic vision when i started in this feed the promoters competed against each other but now we managed to get them all to work together the market has changed why has it changed because we have a goal we are committed to the long term success of this industry we we'll collaborate with all stakeholders to advance boxing yes this is what needs to happen this is what needed to happen in the past get everyone working together on the one of the yeah but some people are still afraid of Turkey allergic has health problems you know so is there somebody that will continue if Turkey allergic is no more with us hopefully he stay he live long but he himself confessed about him having health issues and that is troublesome for me because this man right here is like like um a savior but the problem is that what will happen if the savior is no longer around and also looking at this fire right here Canelo versus Terrence Crawford their age Canelo is 33 Crawford 36 fights 65 to 40 wins 61 to 40 losses two losses Canelo zero losses to um Terrence Crawford knockouts 39 Canelo has more Terrence Crawford 31 57 and F 58 divisions won what titles 4 for Canelo 3 for Terrence Crawford 168 pounds on this world champion two times two times on this one one time on the spirit champion the 168 two times on the champion 140 and 147 now crawford is moving to 154 to fight madrimov to he wants to become a spirit in that field but if the fight is taking place in december then then it's not not possible and let's not forget jaron booth anis is also there Booth Ennis is there, bro. That guy is a different monster, but we need to see Booth Ennis tested here. We need to see him more. We need to see more, more for us testing. But of course, this guy, I think he fights in July in his hometown, Philadelphia. Linear champion, two divisions for Canelo, three divisions for Terence Crawford. World title fights, 25 Canelo, 18 for, of course, Canelo has differently Hello's uh, resume and stuff like that is like more stacked than Terence Crawford, but this is a fight that is very interesting. Canelo, like I said, is the bigger man, you know, naturally, like because Canelo is used to fighting, you know, the bigger guys and moving up and down and stuff like that. Terence Crawford is just beginning to do that now, so he well. At the age of 36, I asked myself, is that not too late? That's what that's the only thing I asked myself. Is it not too late? You know? Because 
how far can Crawford really move up? I think is I think sixty eight. One sixty eight will probably be the is uh, the max. I, I don't think you can move up to one seventy five. Those are you know, the more you move up, the 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 the, 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 the more likely you, you you're gonna get beat. Just like how can I look found it out? I know of course. Uh, Kovalev and stuff like that at 175 and and yeah like and yeah but he met before and what happened when he met before he got he got screwed he got beaten he got the power expired he didn't, he didn't transcend into to that division he was a different beast the same that's why Benavides in my opinion is a weight bully. I see. I see Benavidez as a weight bully because he's taking to Canelo, knowing that Canelo, Canelo, of course, can do that, can make that weight, but he's not naturally. He's not. That's not his natural weight, and he knows that he does his natural weight. So he said, "Oh, well, move up there. Let me get your ass beat. I'm gonna get your ass cooked." So Benavidez should go fight better BF. Better BF is injured right now, but the winner of better BF before he should go and fight them. Let's see how he does against guys of his size. And I think against better BF, uh, Benavidez will get will get demolished. Demolished against before he will get schooled. You know he will get he will get taken to school. It's just facts, you know. But we'll see what happens, guys. What do you make of Turkey Alashik's plan? His Excellency, I know some of um the Americans are saying that they know they don't they can never call another man His Excellency. I think Americans are sport brats basically. You know, you already know that Americans are spoiled brothers, bro. They don't, uh, you know, when you live in a in a bubble, and basically you think everything in your in your bubble is 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 right. Everything done there is the right way. They don't really look at other people. That's why the arrogance. Maybe the arrogance is one is part of what makes America a uh, a great country. Uh but Americans themselves, a lot of them are very. Um, yeah, not. I don't know, man. That not well, not well schooled, not well schooled. I would say not well schooled because not well cultured as well, you know. And that might be become America's detriment in the future, because we have a lot of, you know, they are, they have a lot of um, how do you say? It? A lot of uh, educated illiterates there. You know, so when you have educated illiterates in a country as great as America, the future doesn't look that bright. Hmm? The future doesn't look that bright hey, right now, because other countries are gonna rise. And we already know that um, China is already like basically rising. And there's reason, and they keep rising up. So it's a big challenge. Russia, it's there. You know. So it's gonna be crazy, man. Can't wait. Like, you subscribe. God bless you all for all this for the channel. And uh stay tuned for my right here. Cheers.